I'm digging it, y'all. I need some adjustment. Oh, I just need to get in my. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Strilla, back in the house once again. I just want to say Happy New Year to everybody. I had planned to go out and uh, do a ride with my new mods on my bike today. It's, it's a nice sunny day. It's about 50, 55 degrees, 57 degrees today in the city of Houston. But it's about to rain and then it's going to be crappy for the next few days. So I didn't want y'all to have to wait to see everything. So I'm going to go ahead and edit up the, what I have now. And then once the weather clears up next week, uh, hopefully by the end of next week, I'll take the bike out with all the new stuff, the new battery, the new bars, the new everything that you'll see in this, this video here. And you will see uh, my new mods and how I like them or don't like them and what's the pros and cons of what I've done to the bike. So saying that, uh, like I said, I want to ha wish y'all a happy new year. Thank all my viewers that watch, all the subscribers, especially the XP community. Y'all been like a really big help me grow my channel. And so I'm going to keep bringing y'all quality content over the coming year. Hopefully more content will broaden as we are able to go out in public and socialize and, and get back to normal. But for now, I've been pretty much quarantining and kind of pretty much keeping to myself. So that's why I haven't been videotaping too much or uploading because I just don't really have much content that I think would be interesting to people. You know, some people say you should upload, just keep uploading. But if I don't have anything I think is worthy of putting up, I'm just not going to force it. Uh, maybe I should just to, you know, get out in the habit, but I want to make sure I got quality content for you guys and I leave a legacy of good content on this platform. So that's my agenda, but I am going to try to do more. If y'all got some ideas for me, to do, please leave them in the comments section below. And yeah, I hope everybody has an awesome 2021, better than the last year. Let's stay healthy, <laughs> let's prosper, get everything going. And I guess that's about it. Strill it out. So enjoy. I'll let y'all later. Peace. What's good, YouTube? Boy, Big Strilla. Hopefully, y'all can hear me all right. Decided to take my bike out to run a quick errand. Um, Okay, check out my shadow on the outside of the bike. You'll notice my riding position. I'm leaned over, and that's why I wanted to get the new bars to put me back in a more upright position. Wanted to show you all, like my battery, how it operates right now. Uh, just took it off the charger. I got 2,265 miles. I thought I had 2,500, but I'm a little shy of that. So I'm gonna go full throttle. Pedal sits fire, so y'all can see how getting to a slow start. I'm about to get ran over, so let me crank. So, bike definitely gonna have the same pickup as it once had. And as I hope y'all can see the, I don't know y'all can see the screen or not, but the battery sags really quick. Uh, time for it to sag down once I get on the throttle. You see how slow it is to pick up everything. I'd rather ride this bike full throttle, only in throttle mode only. But uh it's kind of slow right now. But uh yeah just want y'all to see that the pickup not doing a very good uh, demonstration, but topping out about 18 miles an hour on the sidewalk, full throttle right now. And see the, uh, the battery goes down to half, half full. When I do that, whereas before it would, it would um, it'd take a lot more for it to get that low. So, I'm going to crank it on out now so I can run my errand and get back with some battery before the battery just kind of totally dies on me. So that's all I wanted to show you. I got a new battery coming. It's in the mail. I'll show you the difference once I get it. I've got some, some new things came in. 
for the bike. This is for my car. Do it. No air compressor. My last one broke the tip. So make sure I be able to inflate my tires at any time. This is the main thing right here. Looking forward to. Got a zoom suspension seat post. My only concern with this is that it may not be high enough for the seat position that I want. So we'll see. Check that out. And got a new saddle. I got a few more things coming in. So this is a, hopefully a more comfortable saddle that came with the uh, XP new tool kit for that. Got a sticker on the back, reflective sticker. This one was, it was cheap. I saw reviews for a whole bunch of seats out there. Like everyone had like, oh, it's great, it's great. And then you look at the, the minuses and they're like, oh, it sucks, don't get it. I mean, you can get that from the most expensive to the cheapest. So I went with the El Cheapo option and hopefully that it'll work. Um, some people say this thing don't last but a year or two. And if I get that out of it, that's cool if it's comfortable, but we'll see. So yeah, got a couple of projects on hand now. So I'm measuring my current saddle. It's about seven and a half inches across and nine and a half inches long. What I'm gonna do now is mark my seat right here because I don't wanna, if this seat post is gonna be any lower than this, I'm not gonna wanna use it. When I put it side by side and compared it, here I believe this is the lowest mark right here, the minimum right there. Uh, makes it above how how low I have my seat now, so I should be okay. I'm thinking. Let's pull this out and compare it real quick. We look at the comparison. That's the the line here. You can see how much longer the stock stem uh, seat post is compared to the suspension seat post. So I can't really go high with it. Like sometimes the uh, I like to do when I want to get my full leg extension right now the way it is now is okay this thing's gonna be a little bit taller which is cool but we'll see that's a good sign here's this seat the new seat um, let me put this back in real quick so I can compare so this is the original seat the new one's a little bit shorter but about the same let me see am I even getting this okay but about the same width, maybe a, a tad bit wider, but it does seem a lot more cushy if you look at it. Um, cushion, looks like it's more substantial. All right, when I look at the adjustability of these, this one actually has more room to slide it back. I could have done that to give me a little more leg room, which I didn't do. I'm going to have to take these brackets off here, put on, mount it to this. This seat definitely feels a lot more padded than this one. Uh-oh. Just got my ride up. I don't want to do that. It definitely feels more cushiony. We will have to see. This seat, like when you look at it and feel it, it, it feels like it's, you know, comfortable. It looks, looks good. I mean... But after a while, it will wear you out. I like the deep cut in this one for your junk. So you ain't all messing up your manhood and whatnot. That's a good thing. And I see how deep it is right there in the butt area and the padding. It looks nice and thick. So, yeah, it got a lot of good reviews on this seat on Amazon. There's a couple of different sellers. They rebranded, but it looks about the same. This thing was only like 15, 16 bucks. I'll, I'll leave a link down in the description. Oh, I forgot to put my mic back in. Hold on. Yeah. Okay, the audio should be hit better. Uh, this thing was only 15, 16 bucks on Amazon. So there's more expensive seats. They were out of the Cloud 9. And plus, I, I, the thing I don't like about the Cloud 9, it looks like, it looks too big. It makes your bike look like an old man bike. I don't want that look, you know what I'm saying? Like a grandpa bike. Probably my next model might have to make me look like a grandpa anyway, but you know, I don't want the, the gigantic 
you know, like I got fucking hemorrhoids. And even though <laughs> this goddamn seat will give you hemorrhoids, we're going to get to modding this thing on out here, get the process started. My new battery should be in tomorrow, I believe. Oh, yeah, my handlebars, too. Okay, y'all, so next day, I got my seat installed. The suspension fork. It's leaning a little too far pointed up, which makes it uncomfortable, so I had to adjust it. Yeah, the seat is comfortable from what I can tell. I had to get in the right position, though, to feel the full comfort. And the suspension, it makes a little, as someone else put it on the, on the forum, a... Uh, zipper sound when it goes up and down like that. My next piece came 13.5 inch ape hangers. So bought these to give me more reach. Handlebars. I don't know if y'all can see the difference there. Yeah that's gonna make a lot more comfortable ride. And these I can sweep them back some. They still aren't quite as high as I I would want. I don't want them like where my I'm actually hanging from them but it's more aligned with the original bike grip as far as the, the seating position. I'm gonna put these on, see what it looks like. They are about five and a half inches taller than the BMX bar, so we'll see that and much wider as you see. So this is gonna be kind of cool. Check them out. All right, seem sturdy. Yeah, they seem sturdy, so they should be able to take some pulling on like when I go over curves and whatnot. So and they're super wide. Um, first remove handlebar from the stem. Some people have to put a shim. Oh yeah, this is gonna work. Oh, this, one. this is the wedge that came with the original handlebars here. So this wedge is a little bit bigger than the one I have on the bike right now. So I'm gonna replace it. The stem rocked a little bit. Uh, there's play, as you probably can see that as I'm looking down, there's a wobble, there's play in the in the steering and no matter how tight I tighten up the quill, the um, the wedge that goes down in here, it, it still play because there's just this gap in there. The stem rocked a little bit, especially because I had these extensions on here, so it's closer to the minimal insertion line than it would be if I had it all the way flat and flush to the bike. I'm gonna swap this out, this one, to replace the one that's in there. So that's the original piece take that off and use this one so it's a little bit i think it's a little bit wider anyway we'll see i hope this footage didn't overexpose i did not put my nd filter on I have it the right shutter speed for direct motion blur that might have the aperture a little wide I'm trying to keep it in the shadows and direct sunlight so everything doesn't look blown out but i ain't shooting this again line it up with the tire Yes, you can eyeball and I'll come back a little later and adjust that. I'll leave this a little loose so I'll probably to put the bars on. I can tighten it up. Make sure it's square with the front tie. Second pair of bars I'm putting on here. The third pair. Second optimal. Got these from Amazon. I'll have the links in the description of course. So if y'all in case y'all want to try this mod out. One of my viewers actually gave me the idea. I thought about doing this before, and I was like, no, I'm going to go with the BMX. And then somebody wrote, and I was like, huh, let me try that out. I think this is going to work, y'all. Yeah, I can have an upright position. David Brand New said, have you a perfect posture. I miss my perfect posture. You thought y'all be riding with the uh, giraffe stem. Y'all be like this. Straight back. Perfect posture on the joint. I gotta get low with it like this. This is sporty, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. Look, you gotta stick the leg out sometimes to get that deep turn. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, brakes is on point! What's really good, fam? It is your boy, David Brand New, back with another video for you. What uh, David Brand New said, have you a perfect posture. I miss my perfect posture. <laughs> <laughs> They're not high high, but I can they sweep back further than the original bars, so or you can sweep them unlike the other ones. I don't want to sweep them too far back. Super old man. Send them up just a tad bit to give it a sporty look. Yeah, I also also got that uh stem idea from David Brand New too. He was the one that showed me that little nifty trick trick to swap out that and so it doesn't 
extend on wobble and it does seem like it's much more secure. So I do appreciate that, Mr. Mr. David, brand new. And if y'all haven't checked out his page, I know you probably have if you're searching electric e-bike stuff and especially specifically electric. Because he has him and his sister got two badass bikes. They're like super modded out. Mine's like mod light. He tricked his on out. Pimp, pimp my bike. That's what this shit. This bike should be on. Yeah, I'm liking this already. A little scary. I was, I was afraid that these bars would feel like a little, like, like they give and feel rickety. This is gonna be all right. I'm sitting, as you see, I'm sitting pretty straight, perfect posture. Yeah, I like this. This is all right. I'm gonna finish this on up and let y'all see what the end result is. All right, taking these grips off is gonna be next to impossible. So I'll deal with these grips a little bit later. I got the electric XP spare battery. I was gonna open it real quick and let y'all see what's in the box. It's gonna be a quick one. Get out real quick. Nice, a lot of nice padding in there. New set of keys. And the battery, baby. Let's see if anything else is in there. That's it. I went and got a razor blade from the drugstore. So hopefully this process will go a little quicker now. That'd be the way. Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> so much easier. All right. All right. Done deal. Got the old bars. The second pair of bars off. Probably have to take this webbing down a little bit lower since these bars are wi even wider. And the last bars, which were wider than the original bars, give me a little more separation. Keep on unwinding this. Ain't gotta do it. All right, that's on there. Brake. And the throttle. All right, we're in there. That's good. All right. And the grip. These bars are a lot longer. I thought I might be able to put the whole grip on, but I'm gonna cut it right at this groove, right at this mark. So I guess I won't be returning these to uh, Amazon since I just owned it. I think that's it. All right, y'all, I'm done with the mod, as y'all can see here. The only caveat about these handlebars that I see thus far is that my throttle, my pedal assist trigger is down here. The, the cable coming out of it is super short, um, coming out the computer to the, the pedal assist wire, so I would have to splice that and cut it make it longer if i want to go up here that's um it's an inconvenience to be that low but because i can't i can't use my thumb just to change it on the fly but it's okay i mean i'll probably end up hopefully there's only like two or three wires in here so eventually i'll end up splicing that and putting uh some shrink wrap over it and making it uh longer um, right now it's okay. So I leveled out my seat here. Uh, hopefully it's perfectly level. So hopefully I got that in the, the right position. Now, this seat is a little bit shorter than the original seat. So I, I noticed that when I was riding it earlier, just to, I sat on it. So if it does like if it's leaning forward, feel like you're falling off. I'm gonna take this for a little spin. Yeah, I'll put the new battery that came in tomorrow if the weather permits and I will take all these mods out for a spin for y'all to check out so as you see I need I definitely need to rotate the tires still um, or put some new tires on it because these in the back are really running low and that'll probably be my next thing I do the front tire still has a pretty good pretty good grip on it um, so I'll probably just rotate these and then 
uh, put some street tires on it later. Somebody suggests I get the Kenda Auto from Rad Rover. I go over there and they had like the reflective strip on the side. Some really nice looking tires. So I think that might be the route I go once I decide to do that. But for now, this is how I'm rolling, y'all. I'm the front profile. I get some more glamour shots of the bike for the good electric XP folks. But I'm, I'm digging. I'm digging the look though. I mean, it don't look too crazy. 13 and a half inch bars. I'll show how I, how it looks, um, my seating position, how far forward or back I'm sitting compared to the BMX and the standard bars. But the good thing about these, if I don't like the pitch of it, loosen up these bolts right here and I can pitch it forward or back depending on how I want it to look and feel when I'm riding. But I got them pretty straight up and down right now, which I think is the probably the ideal riding position but we shall see we shall see there's a there's a size difference between the twist throttle on that i'll see how comfortable it is eventually with the ride but i can almost put my whole hand on this what's left of the grip um yeah but I, i'm liking i'm liking the overall look I'm about to go for a little test drive up and down the street real quick just to see how it feels I'm digging it y'all I need some adjustments here and there it's like my back tires a little low now that I'm leaning back over the back tire uh, like I used to um, it's feeling a little more squishy as if I'm having gonna have my weight further forward over the center of the bike but yeah I'm digging it thus far we're gonna get the new battery in there tomorrow adjust a few things and see what it really does all right I'm out y'all